On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, setting up the third display with this, a USB to display adapter. Hi and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I show you how to use software that we use in the church, mostly ProPresenter. I admit, need to diversify, but right now there's just so much with ProPresenter 6, so we're going to stick with it for a while. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation and ask your questions, so just do that below the video. That would be cool. So... Um, a lot of people think when they're setting up ProPresenter, wait, I know how to use the main display if I've got a Mac Mini or if I've got a MacBook Pro or an iMac, but how do I get a second and third display? Well, second display, generally easy. Usually it's the Thunderbolt port or mini display port if you've got an older MacBook Pro, that's cool too. Um, like I've got a mid-2010 MacBook Pro, works perfectly fine. It's The question though is, well, what about the third for the stage display? Well, there are some Macs that have the ability right from the factory to have three displays connected, uh, either an internal and two external displays or maybe three external displays. But most people don't have those because they were kind of the exception and not the rule. So how do you get the third display out? Well, you use a USB to display adapter. So let's head over to my computer. I'll show you the one that I'm using and show you a little bit about setting it up because the software that it comes with is for Windows only. So this, if you've got a Windows computer, you can use this by all means. But if you're using a Mac, as I am, you'll need to go somewhere else. So let's head over and we'll talk about that. Okay, let's start with the adapter. This is the one that I bought in January of this year. Now, I can't guarantee that yours will be like this, but mine was. It says VGA and DVI only, but mine also came with... You'll notice this is a DVI output. Mine also came with a DVI to HDMI adapter. So with the DVI to VGA adapter and the DVI to HDMI adapter, the only major format that I can't do without another adapter is SDI. And I'm okay with that for 30 bucks. Uh, this is 1920 by 1080p. Uh, it says it'll do more uh, 1600 by 1200, but I think for most churches 1080p is plenty. Uh, if you need something beefier, this one uh, at $10 more may do the trick for you. I don't know. I haven't tested that one. I've only tested this one and it works like a charm in both ProPresenter 5 and ProPresenter 6 in my testing. So that's what I want to tell you. Now, I will say, first off, to get here, I've made a short link for you. So that is trinitydigitalmedia.com slash ProPresenterUSB, and that will take you right there. That is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more money, and I just get a little bit of uh, money on it. So that's why I did that. I've also made another one, and this is a short link at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash diamondmmos10 for the driver. Now, you can try and find the driver, but it took me a while to find it myself. So, this is that link, but instead of giving you all this, again, I've given you that short link, and that will uh, take you there as well. You need to download that driver, which 
you scroll down on this page and it has up to OS 10.9. As I'm recording this, uh, El Capitan is not out yet, OS 10.10. So OS 10.9, which is um, the version um, OS 10 Yosemite, that's what I've got and it's running fine. So right now that's the way that I would uh, recommend that you look. This was released in March March 24th of 2014 so you're probably going to be okay when that releases but just to be safe I did want to point that out that uh, this does not say that it works for the latest version of OS 10, which is still in beta as I'm recording this. So you will need to download and install this before you plug in your display and you plug in your USB adapter. But once you do that, then you should, here let's go to System Preferences, you should be able to go to Displays and you should have three tabs here. Display, Arrangement, and Color. So click on arrangement and you should see three displays. If you don't, first thing to check is the mirroring displays here. Make sure that is unchecked. And then you should see the three. You should see the control screen, the main output, and then the stage display. And they may not be arranged this way cool thing about OS 10 you click on that you see that red bar that just showed up all around the screen that is the distinct advantage of OS 10 is I now know that I'm clicking on this monitor when I click on this one the red bar shows up all around the left hand screen the red bar shows all around the right hand screen and I can drag and drop these where it makes sense. So it could be that I want to drag this one in front because it is in front of me as the main display out and it could be that this one is behind me as the stage display. Maybe it's over my head. Whatever, doesn't matter. But you need to make sure that you see every display that you have plugged into your computer in system preferences because if system preferences doesn't see it then ProPresenter won't see it. So that's where you start. Once you get into ProPresenter you just drag the SD in ProPresenter preferences under displays to the stage display and the main out goes to the main out and then the one that's the control screen you just leave that empty. So that's basically how to do that and there's another tutorial where I show you a little bit more about that. But I would, just wanted to tell you about this um, display adapter which at $30.42 you really can't beat it. Um, so I, it seems to work great and uh, I haven't had any problem with it and I use it every day not for ProPresenter every day, but every day uh, when I have my three screens up here at my workstation. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you know how to go about getting a third display set up to use the stage display. There's no additional charge to use this, and the display adapter, as you can tell, is very inexpensive. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up um, one of the free church tech gifts that I have for you, along with a free copy of my email newsletter. There, I'll give you more tips and tricks and tell you about some of the cool stuff happening here at trinitydigitalmedia.com. You'd probably like my store, too, uh, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store to pick out uh, some great stuff at great prices that I've made with you in mind. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.